about the Limbo adventure. Blade and I, we've worked with Johnny before. Blaze is inconsistent, isn't he? Good girl, Charlie. Blaze tried to sell us out and we're still going to trust him? Eliana called Limbo home. With that Mephisto creeper living there? Considering our relationship? Our allies and friends give me pause, Hunter. The parchment of power is here, within the walls of the Abbey. I assume you overheard Robbie or someone talking about it. No. I could feel its power the moment it arrived. It was a numbing dread, the likes of which I have never experienced before. I worry for Robbie. Do you not think he can handle it? Sarah and Strange probably won't bring this up around him, but that parchment is not just random Latin phrases. It contains the words of Cathon himself. They are as dangerous as nuclear weapons. I have already heard those words spoken aloud. Blaze read from the page, and I saw what it could do. The power it unleashed. The hellfire and destruction is only the beginning, I'm afraid. The page will not be with Robbie long. If Stark's plan succeeds, we will be rid of Cathan's only toehold in our world. Perhaps. The parchment is just one page of many. All carrying Cathan's vile message. Those pages were scattered across the globe. The hope was that they would remain hidden forever. Yet man, in his infinite wisdom, decided to collect them and bind them into the Darkhold. And now Robbie has the final page. I pray he is strong enough to carry it. trusts me because my facial hair resembles Mephisto's. through so much and here I am getting comfort from you like a selfish jerk almost as bad as an Avenger <laughs> you're not that bad Ileana I promise liar I might as well put on a cape and start calling myself doctor don't be so hard on yourself you saw your tormentor today that couldn't have been easy it's good to have you back sister it's good to be back sister We'll finish this conversation later. Looks like someone wants to talk to you. She's all yours.
Johnny Blaze's master plan was to entrust the parchment of power to Mephisto. <laughs> Bravo, Ghost Rider. Mephisto was behind the Solus? Why did you not tell me, Ileana? Because I didn't know for sure. It was not easy to face him, you know. But the support of my friends, like you, gave me the strength to do it. In a way, I owe him everything. Even though he took everything from me. He made me Dark Child. Gave me the gift of ruling Limbo. And today, I booted him from it. And it wasn't the first time. I would like to hear about the first time you expelled him from Limbo. He did it to himself, really. Mephisto made the mistake of putting me in a position where I... I had to kill my only friends in order to prevent him from summoning the Elder Gods. I could not take it anymore, and found a way to teleport back to my parents. But it had been so many years that they... didn't recognize me. In fact, they were terrified of me and called the police. So, I went back to Limbo, and used my own pain to form the Soul Sword. I used it to drive back Mephisto and take the throne. He was not expecting that. <sighs> That's enough about him for today. We must look forward to the challenges that lay ahead. Sleep well tonight, Ileana. You deserve it. Good night, Hunter. Even Lilith didn't like her pact with him. I can sense your inner strength just by being near you. I don't know where I would be without friends like you. Hunter, buddy, talk to me. I am glad you wear the title of Witch with pride. I'm at a loss, truly. I'm kind of busy right now. Cleaning your car? It's got to be done. And if I don't, no one else will. You have the parchment. Our hopes are all riding on you right now. I can't believe I used to worry that I didn't belong here. Right. Now is the time for you to step forward. I already stepped forward. It's your turn. If there is something you need to get off your chest... You mean like the parchment? No. It's in there pretty snug. I'm doing great otherwise. It's not like any major life role models attempted to sell us out to Mephisto recently. Robbie, I... Thanks for checking on me, Hunter. Later. I just want to be alone right now. Thanks. I see things are going well for you, too. Some people have no taste in role models, huh? I wish Robbie could have met Uncle Ben. He was the best there was. All right. Guess I gotta spend more time with Robbie and try to get some of Uncle Ben to rub off on him. I thanked you for bringing me back with you, right? I know we're here because people are in danger, but I have to admit I'm a little excited.
this bowl always here? Well, this looks like it belongs here. It seems my offering was accepted. Stop being so defensive and listen to us, Robbie. We're just worried about you, that's all. No need to be worried. I got this. I don't think you fully understand what you're carrying. The parchment packs a lot of evil. And what? You don't think I can handle it? I'll have you know that you aren't the only one who has a corner on controlling darkness. Just ask Sparky. We're just concerned. Concerned? You're starting to sound an awful lot like Caretaker, Nico. Since when did you become such a jerk? Since he started carrying that damn page, that's Why when... Why don't you worry about yourself, Blade? Whatever you say, Robbie. Why don't you go find Peter? Well, maybe I will. I'm out. Well, we tried. The parchment of power is no joke. Then again, neither is Robbie. Let's just hope he's right and he can handle it. <sighs> yeah, let's hope. Robbie Reyes can carry our one MacGuffin of great power. That's a lot of responsibility for one ghostwriter. I hope Robbie's doing okay. I could not have predicted this outcome, but it is intriguing. So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? I'm oh, sure Charlie left the steam coil in the hallway. Sometimes, I even impress myself. Hunter.
have time to talk, Hunter? I saw you witnessed our disagreement in the hallway earlier. I did. Yet you didn't say anything. I did not. The parchment contained some of the darkest, most twisted magic that's ever existed. Robbie's my friend, but I don't think he's strong enough to withstand those forces. If he doesn't pass that page off to someone else, it's going to consume him. You are right to worry about your friend, Blade. The parchment is powerful, and Robbie is only one man. If he's carrying the parchment alone, he's got the rest of us to carry him. And I won't let him forget it. That is a good sentiment. I hope that it will be enough. How much longer is he expected to hold the page? We are all waiting on Stark. Until he can finalize his plan to destroy it, we wait. All I can say is Stark had better hurry. I'm actually agreeing with you, Nico. Wait, you're what? We are asking a lot from Robbie. Maybe too much. So glad you see it too. It seems to me that he's risking himself all for destroying the parchment. <laughs> Point taken. We will have to keep an eye on him. Make sure the page isn't having any strange effects on him. Maybe we can get Hunter to talk to him. See if he's okay. Not a bad idea. Someone's got to do something about Robbie. Robbie's walking around with a magical bomb in his chest, and it's insane that people think that's okay. I mean, it seems like Caretaker understands the danger, but nobody else wants to hear it. Robbie is doing very important work. He needs your support right now. I see. Support the cause, right? Just shut up and do what you're told forever. Not forever. Just until Tony is ready for him. I mean, be honest with me. Do you really think Stark's plan is gonna work? Because you know what I think? I think this is all about Stark getting back at Banner. And Robbie's just a tool for him to use, like everything else in the Forge. Tony does seem distracted by losing Banner. Exactly! And Robbie's in danger because of it! We are all in danger. But I do think Tony owes us an explanation for his behavior. I swear, if anything happens to Robbie... And what exactly do you think will happen to Robbie while he is carrying the parchment? I don't know I exactly. Maybe the magic in the page will drive him insane. Maybe it'll wreck his body. Who knows? But I really don't want to sit around waiting to find out. I just hope Robbie makes it through this in one piece. It's weird. I just felt this need to be out here. Something about Jeremiah Kane's statue drew me. Guess it's that old Spirit of Vengeance connection, huh? Like you, Kane carried more burdens than any one man should. Yeah, so he knew how the big honor could also become a curse. Do you feel like you have been cursed? Absolutely. I mean, it's awesome to be one of the Midnight Suns and have the incredible responsibility of carrying the parchment of power. But it also really sucks. As long as you carry the parchment with you, you are the most powerful member of the Midnight Suns. I hope you realize that. Huh. 
Never thought of it that way. It is an awesome responsibility. Yeah, but of course, power doesn't do me much good unless I use it. And I doubt that's ever gonna happen. Blaze's betrayal probably soured your outlook. Uh, about that. I keep thinking about what happened back in Limbo. Right before all the fighting broke out, when Blaze told me you were the key to the parchment, the prophecy, all of it. And that if we took you out, the world might survive. Robbie. I, I know what you're gonna say. Don't trust Blaze. I get it. Which is why I'm thinking I should read this parchment for myself and find out exactly what caused him to get so worked up about you. If you read it, will it cause you to turn on us, your teammates? What makes you think I will? Do you know what it says? Not specifically. But I know it prompted Johnny Blaze to betray us. And I fear it could cause you to do the same, whether you are aware of it or not. Its power works in mysterious ways. Fine, forget it. I'm not gonna read the page. Happy now? I am relieved, yes. But what are you going to do instead? I'm gonna do what I normally do. Sit and worry. And hope Stark hurries up with whatever he's building in the forge. That may take a while. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear you say that. After all this, I better get a statue of my own around here. Just tell me. I already told you. That was just a bunch of hocus-pocus mumbo-jumbo. Authored by the hand of a corrupted elder god, vile, unspeakable evil power contained within its pages. I get it. The Darkhold is bad. But I'm a scientist. I need facts, examples, highlights, lowlights. Are you really asking me for a book report on the dark? I mean, I could just blast the page to smithereens without knowing the context, but understanding it is so much more interesting. Context or no context, I'm still skeptical that your plan will actually work. Well, okay, then share your deep insights with me, Dr. Spooky. Come on, spill the beans. I have no beans to spill, Tony. I think I need some fresh air. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there, Hunter. I guess you're wondering why Strange and I were getting into it. I saw enough. Uh, he gets so huffy and precious when it comes to his magic stuff. Everything has to be shrouded in mystery, like he's on stage in Vegas or something. I think he's afraid I'm gonna turn around and become an even greater sorcerer than he is. Well, Tony, you are a bit competitive. I would not blame him for becoming a bit territorial as a result. Aw, oh, there's nothing wrong with a little friendly competition, is there? I do not think Strange sees it as friendly. Well, when he comes back, I'll try to smile bigger. Maybe that'll give him a hint. Surely there is a way for you both to work together in harmony. Oh, you'll never catch us in the same barbershop quartet. But, given enough time, I'm sure I can reverse engineer an Elder God's programming language. Sure, you may not be able to understand what I'm saying, but that's not my problem. So you think the Darkhold is no different from some fabulous bit of technology? Oh, absolutely. And like any other fabulous bit of technology, it's only a matter of time before I figure out how to do what I want to do with it. Every problem has a solution, my resurrected friend. And I'm going to find it. It will be a challenge, but I know you can handle it. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. Actually, uh, you can tell me several times. I'm such a shameless sucker for praise. 
And what about Strange? Are you going to let him sulk? Oh, I'll find Dr. Spooky later, and explain my position clearly. Make sure he understands. It might help if you stop calling him Dr. Spooky. Yeah, you're right. I should use his name. Steven Spooky. I give up. Well, don't give up yet. You need to get the research going on the Gamma Accelerator. I've got the pieces and Dad's research, and I'm ready to go. I'm serious about getting the research started. Parchment isn't going to blow itself up. Magic highlights, Tony. Here's your highlight. All right, let's get started, Dr. Spooky. I'm happy to help, Hunter. again. Just give me a target. Caretaker said I need to be a team player. So I guess I'm letting you choose for me too. show you a couple of things. Good stuff. Better than any. Later. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Careful, Hunter. Punches are flying fast around here. I came out here to cool down. Carol kindly suggested I work out my frustrations on the punching bag. Her suggestion was wise. I am afraid I know the source of your frustrations. If you think this source has got salon sculpted facial hair and an ego the size of Montana, then you are correct. Rail against Tony's ego all you want, but the best way to shut him up would be to come up with a better plan. Believe me, if I had a better plan, everyone would have heard about it by now. Uh, unfortunately, this whole thing feels like a no-win situation. Everyone knows me as Carol, but would you believe the name was Car L? In the Cree language, it means champion. So you could say expectations were high from the very beginning. I wouldn't have guessed we'd become such fast friends, Hunter, but I welcome your company.
Hydra forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. Consider it done. Grab those artifacts before they roll out. I think we can handle it. Let's do it. you're going to have to deal with one of the fallen.
the merrier. The light will heal you. I need it. The artifacts are secure, but why don't you teach Hydra a lesson while you're here?
Ash's mother says so. Now is the time! We can wait! Get you for this. I've seen how tough you are. I was born for this. of modern technology. Anyway, it can't be enough. your chance. I'd consider another profession if I were.
little rattled here. Serious predict. Excellent part. This should be good. I'd say that was a very successful outing. Good work. 